Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,456. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we've got a great video here where we're going to see how to use a pivot table and slicer to create a monthly product sales report for the last seven years. Now, in our last video, 1455, we saw how to do this same cross tabulated report with formulas. Now, that video, we saw a pretty cool trick about how to take text criteria and use it inside the sum ifs function. And we talked about formulas. All of these formulas will update if I were to change any one of these numbers. But if you want a quick and easy way to create this report, we don't want to use formulas. We want to use a pivot table. I'm going to drag this off to the side. Now we have this proper data set, date, product, customer ID, and sales, records and rows, empty cells all the way around. I click in one single cell, go up to Insert, Pivot Table, or I can use the keyboard Alt and V. We have a proper data set, so it guessed right. I want to put this on the existing sheet, Location. I'm going to click in F6. Click OK. Now we can see in our pivot table field list, I'm going to drag this over here. We have our fields. And the date field, well, check this out. These are transactional daily dates. But with a pivot table, we can roll them up into months and years easily. Now I'm using Excel 2016. So when I drag the date field down to the rows, instantly it groups. I can see up here it's collapsed down. Now, if you happen to be in 2016 and you don't want this automatic feature, you can either turn it off in Options or right click and click Ungroup. Before 2016, we'd always have to click Group and then click on whichever categories we want. While we're here, I would never want Quarter, so I'm going to uncheck that and click OK. Now, I'm going to drag this back over here. We have Year and Date in the rows. I'm going to drag Years over to Columns. There's our cross tabulated report starting to emerge. Now I'm going to drag sales down to values. And instantly, it is summarized from the complete data set all the product sales for each month. Now I want to click in one cell in the values area, right click. And I do not want to point to format cells. I want to point to number formatting. By using number formatting, it will format the field rather than the cells. Now I'm going to click on Currency, accept the defaults, click OK. Now we can go up to Pivot Table Tools, Analyze, Filter Group, and there's Insert Slicer. I click. Now I'm going to check Product, click OK. Now with the slicer selected, there's Slicer Tools Options. I can increase to two columns change the size, come up, click the More button, maybe select that color. Actually, why don't we drag this down here, click back in the Pivot Table, go up to Pivot Table Tools Design, click the More button here, and we could select some style. Now we have the grand totals, and when I start selecting a particular product, the column widths will keep changing. So I'm going to right click inside the Pivot Table, Pivot Table Options. And I want to, in the Layout and Format, uncheck Auto Fit Column Widths. Click OK. Now I can select Bellin, and instantly there are all of the sales for each month for all seven years. Now I click Quad, and just like that, we have created our cross tabulated report, monthly sales based on a particular product with a pivot table and slicer. Much easier than our last video with formulas. Hey, if you like this video, click that thumbs up, comment, and sub for more videos to come. We'll see you next video.